Welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. Today we are going to talk about the different statuses of your query or different states. So when your query is sent to SQL Server, either it is running, which is the most happy state. So the status of the query is running or it might be suspended if it is waiting on a specific resource. The third status is sleeping which is your session is connected to SQL Server, but it does not have any active request, or in other words, it's waiting for a command. So that is the sleeping state. And the last, the fourth state is runnable, which means your query is ready to run, but it's waiting for its turn on the CPU, or in other words, it's waiting for the CPU resource. There is a fifth one also called background, which is meant for background threads, not so important from a tuning perspective, but these are the four ones that you need to focus on. Running, suspended, sleeping, and runnable. Let's now jump into a demo and look at all of these four statuses in action. As always, I'm going to use AdventureWorks 2016 here, so let's change the database context. Running is the most simplest one that I can show you and of course a very happy state which is your query is running. So I'm using a DMV called sysdm exec requests here which will give me, uh, which has a column called status. So I'm extracting the session ID and status from this DMV and it will tell me what my query is currently doing or in which state it is. And I filter on session ID and for this one for running I say um, I use the global variable double at the rate SPID which will give me the session ID of the current session and in our case here right now it is 76. So let's go and check this one. Now remember this is session ID 76 right now and I'm, run, I'm going to run it. I click on execute and it extracts the data and for itself session ID 76 the status says running very simple let's do this again so i'm going to see the status of this current session which is 76 let's click on execute and you get the status as running straightforward now let's get into a slightly more trickier mode here which is suspended and um, of course the sleeping state so i'm going to kind of show this uh, both suspended and sleeping with a single example I am going to copy this piece of code in another query window to simulate another session. So let's just copy this one into a new window here, the second window. Let's go back and take this one into a third query window. Let's do a new window here and put this here. Go back to the original one. and. So let's go to the first one here now, uh, the second one, sorry. And I am going to change the database context to AdventureWorks 2016. For this session, session ID 80, if you look at the session ID closely, this one is 80. We are going to begin a transaction and this is going to be an in-flight transaction. So I've commented rollback and there is no comment and we're just modifying a record here. So let's up do an update inside an explicit transaction. Okay, so it says, one row affected. Now you know that for this session, session ID 80, um, this session is connected to SQL Server right now, but it does not have any active request. So it's more like uh, so-called the sleeping status. So the transaction here is in flight waiting for any other specific command. Now I will go back to this original window here and I am going to, in this window, this is what it says, I'm going to fire a select statement. This is our original session, remember 76. And let's go and execute this. Now you may know this query here is going to wait. Why? Because I'm trying to extract this data, the first record business entity ID is equal to one and you know that this partic particular record is already locked by session ID 80. So it's a, it's a very simple blocking scenario, right? There's an update session and this one is performing the select operation. So let's go and execute and as expected, this is waiting. So now we have a very typical locking and blocking scenario here and now we are going to see the suspended and the sleeping statuses. So let's jump over to this query and let's put 76 here. 76 is the session ID where the select query is running. And let's go and execute this and you will see that 76 right now is in suspended mode. So the status of SPID 76 is suspended which means that 
it's waiting on a specific resource. So earlier you saw it was running and running is the most happy status to be in and now it is suspended. So whenever your query is waiting on, let's say a lock, when it wants to acquire a lock or when it is waiting on CPU resources or IO or memory, whenever it is waiting for a resource which it needs for itself to execute uh, and, and in other words, it's in waiting mode, it goes into suspended status. So this is for the select query. Now, what about the update query? As I said, uh, in, in SPID 80 here, we ran the update statement and this is an in-flight transaction, which means you see this is this session is connected. If I try to close it, it tells me there are uncommitted, uncommitted transaction. Do you wish to commit these transactions? So I just cancel it. Uh, why I did that just to show you that we are in connected state and SPID 80 is waiting any additional command. So in other words, SPID 80 is just kind of sleeping. So let's go to this window and try to put the session ID 80 here. So I need to supply the session ID of the update query and I do that here and let's go and check this ourselves. So let's go and execute this and to your surprise, you will find that you get an empty result set. Now, it's like, what is your query doing? And you know, the original answer could be depends on who you ask. So I am trying to extract the status of my query from this DMV called dim exec requests. And if you let's get into some finer details about this DMV dim exec requests, which means it's going to give you information about any active requests. For session ID 80, as I said earlier, the session is active, but it does not have any active requests and that's why you get an empty result set but if you do sp who to 80 here i mean using the stored procedure sp who to you can clearly see that speed 80 is currently in sleeping state just a bit of uh, intricacies with sql server when you're trying to learn these internals and you can also see in command here it's a waiting command now sp who to is uh, more traditional and of course you can get similar information from the dmv sim sys dm exec sessions let's change 75 to 80 and you will get similar information that session id 80 and let's go a little right here and you can see the you can see the status as sleeping so this doesn't mean anything else if you're getting empty results set from dim exec request the idea the concept is still same which is session id 80 is sleeping it does not have any active requests Okay, so let's go back to 76 here. Oh no, let's go to 80 and let's roll this back. So when you roll back, everything will be all normal and let's go and close this one. And let's come back to 76 here. Now, so we have looked into running, we have seen um, suspended, we have seen sleeping. Let's go and look into this fourth and the final state of your query, which is runnable. And I'll, I'll demonstrate this to you in a very simple user friendly way. Runnable simply means that you have your query, which is running, but you know, every thread has a quantum on the CPU. It runs for four milliseconds and then it backs off and then it queues up again. I could have created a very stressful situation here in SQL Server, but I can show that to you very easily. I would just take this query in a window here, let's say here and just replace all of this here. And I'm in a while loop. I'm going to run the select statement. So what it's going to do, it's going to run and then it's going to back off again, which means it's constantly, constantly going to flip between running, runnable, suspended, because it's going to wait for resources as well. It, any query, each query in its lifetime would wait for resources. Uh, so what's important for us here is while we run this, we can just go back here and in this window, let's go and look at the session ID 80. We're going to change this and we will see the status runnable. We're going to run it a, uh, a couple of times and you will observe that for sometimes uh, the status of SPID 80 is going to change to runnable. So let's go and execute this right now. You get an empty result set. And now let's go and fire this query. Go back here and execute. You can see suspended. Let's run it. And there you go, runnable, which means I hit that moment when it was not running and probably it was just waiting for its turn um, to get onto the CPU. Again, suspended, again, runnable. So you could see intermittently I can capture that. And there are other ways how you can do this more beautifully using extended events or maybe write your own scripts and using jobs, you can automate all that stuff. But Anyway, this is a simple demo to just get a few concepts around to you. 
So yeah, let's do runnable again there. Okay, with this, let's go and just stop this and come back here. So this brings us to the end of this tutorial. So you have four statuses here. We have running, we have suspended, sleeping, and runnable. There's also a fifth state, as I talked about, um, background and there are things like dormant but depending as i said depending on which dmv you are inquiring but predominantly from a query tuning perspective our focus is on these four states if you like the content give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos most importantly visit sqlmaestros.com there's a lot of sql learning resources out there video courses master classes lab kits ebooks blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.